<laughs> hey guys, so I've already done my base as we can see right here. But if you are interested in seeing how I did get my base or like my foundation routine, I'll leave it linked up here in the cards so that you guys can check it out, like click on it and check it out if you want to. But otherwise, let's move on to the eyes, which is the exciting part of this whole look. Yes, baby. I'm actually so excited. Ah. So to start off in my crease, I'm taking this gorgeous like pale orange color as a transition color and I'm whacking that baby through the crease from outer to inner corner. No rhyme or reason to it really. Next I'm taking Flame Point from Sugar Pill and I'm just whacking this through the crease just below where we place that orange shade to create a nice gradient effect. And as I'm blending it into that softer orange shade, I'm using lighter windscreen wiper motions. Barely touching this petite crease brush to my crease, like lid area. Bring it all the way to where my outer corner of my eye is. And then grabbing a more compact brush, I'm just going to pack this colour on all over the lid. And just blending out the edges of it with a bit more of that product on that petite crease brush. Just tap it off a little bit. And because we already did that blending through the crease before, it just created such an easy, easy blend like afterwards. So you don't have to go through and try and transition this into the lighter orange. Because we already did it. Forward planning people. <laughs> And again, just bring some of that pale orange from the beginning back to transition it into our brow bone. Next, I'm taking a deeper brown shade and packing this on to the inner part of my lid with a pencil brush. Kind of like that. And I'm taking some of that orange and just slowly, softly blending it in with that brown to bring a bit of that colour back but also to help the transition be more smoother. And next with the black, I'm taking this on the same pencil brush and just packing this right on top of that brown shade to deepen it up and get those Halloweeny colours tied in there. And because we have that brown, it's just going that black is just gonna softly transition into that orange really smoothly so there's no choppiness or harsh lines. Again, forward blending. <laughs> then if you need to just bring some of that lighter brown shade back to soften any edges but I'm pretty good <laughs> so it does look a little bit crazy at the moment but that's with makeup you gotta wait till the very end for it to all come together so next I'm grabbing shimmer shimmer from makeup geek and I'm applying this to my inner corners and just a little bit under my lash line as well finally I'm taking this gorgeous gorgeous foiled eyeshadow from makeup geek called untamed it's like an orangey kind of yeah goldy orangey um, eyeshadow and I'm placing this on, this on right on top of the orange on the center of the lid to give it a bit of a pop, a bit of something extra just because I like to be a little bit extra sometimes <laughs> and I'm just kind of feathering out the edges oh that is so pretty though oh girl mm -mm -mm. reminds me of like a Halloween pumpkin like oh girl <laughs> Next I'm going to do a pretty thick wing liner, angling it up towards the tail of my brow and bringing it back. Um, just because I want a really dramatic eye look, so that's why I placed the forward eyeshadow um, all the way up the centre of the lid. Because I did want it to show above the winged liner. So I use my um, Hayley Baldwin for Mortal Coat eyeliner to draw it on and fill it in. And then to really crispen it up, like crisp it up every any edges or anything like that I went in with this Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liquid Liner 
So before I apply lashes, I think I'll finish off the eyeshadow and like put tight line and do my waterline. So I'm actually going in with this Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Obsidian. So it's super, super black and I'm placing this in my tight line and waterline. Another really cool idea you could do is putting a white in your waterline to really make your eyes look more awake and that more kind of costumey look but I want to do black because it is Halloween I really like the sexy smoky look so that's why I'm going to use a black eye cold today damn that is creamy and so smooth every time I'm doing my eyes I just admire the little like foiled eyeshadow in the center of the lid like I freaking love makeup geek eyeshadows but this foiled eyeshadow I am living for for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with this light orange shade that we use at the very beginning as a transition colour for our bottom lash line. I'm just going to whack that baby underneath. And I'm keeping this quite close to my lash line and quite soft. I don't want anything too crazy dark on the bottom lash line because this here is like where I want my main focus to be. And we're going to do a little bit of something something underneath as well. So it's kind of, ooh. So it's going to, ooh, I did it again. I went out of focus. So it's going to be kind of like just a soft bottom lash line, I think. I think I'll keep it, yeah, pretty soft. So finally taking the Flame Point eyeshadow from Sugar Pill on the Zoeva pencil brush. And I'm just going to smudge it really closely to my bottom lash line to give a bit of definition and a bit more smokiness. I just like to focus most of the product here and I'll just kind of taper it in. And now I'm going to apply some mascara and lashes really quick so we can move on to the next step. And the lashes I'll be going in with today are the style Fluffy. So these are with the lashes applied. I've already gone ahead and done the little spiders on the bottom of my eye because I feel like they're totally tied in with the Halloween theme. But I'm going to show you how I did them on this eye just to save time and because I wanted to see like how I was going to go about doing it. I'm actually really proud of how they turned out, little creepy crawlies. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get to it, huh? So first of all, I'm grabbing a black eye coal, and I'm just going to map out the three little dots of where I'm going to place the spiders. Just lightly, nothing too crazy. Around there. I'm then grabbing some black body paint on a little defined paintbrush. And I'm just going to kind of sketch out the shape of my spiders, so like the little circle and the little legs and things like that. Next I'm grabbing a finely tipped liquid liner and I'm just going to go over that in more detail so make them more pigmented. And the trick with these is not to make them too perfect. I've just done them just so that people get the gist that there's spiders crawling down your face just to get that Halloween-y vibe. And then I'm going to make really spidery bottom lashes with some bottom lash mascara to just, yeah, make them stand out against the spiders and, yeah, just kind of make them spidery. Grabbing Shimmer Shimmer again on a pencil brush, I forgot to do this before, we're going to highlight the brow bone. It's the same inner corner highlight, it's the same shadow that we used in our inner corner, so just pop that on your brow bone. And that's the eye look completed. So you guys can pair any lip that you want with this, I went with a black lip because I feel like it tied in with the Halloween theme so well, but you can do a nude lip, you can do whatever you want. But I feel like black went so well with this like Halloween-y themed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. This wraps it up. I hope you got a lot out of it. It's a super simple Halloween makeup look to just go to a party, clubbing, you know, whatever you want to do to celebrate Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did for me, honey. And if you want to, subscribe down below because it really helps me out. Otherwise, have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.